So this right here is my version of the $10 sleeper camera. What's a sleeper camera, you ask? Well, first off, I'm going to have to give credit to Jonathan Paragus because it was on his YouTube channel that I first heard of this concept. But essentially, a $10 sleeper camera is an old digital camera you could find in a thrift store for $10. One of the cool things about these cameras is how compact they are. It fits right into the palm of your hand, into your pocket, or into the console of your car. But for me, an even bigger attraction is the extra bit of motivation that it gives to actually stop and take a photo when you're out and about driving around. I can't tell you how many times I've been out driving either to or from work to the grocery store or somewhere else and I see a cool photo opportunity and I could stop to take a photo but I don't because I'm in a hurry and I just have my phone with me. But with the Digicam with me, I have that extra little bit of impetus to just pause for a moment stop and take a photo. For me that's extra true of the Lumix DMC because it was the first digital camera that I ever had. There's also something nice about the tactile element of having an actual camera in your hand. And although there are some pre-programmed shooting modes available, most of these cameras are designed to be point and shoot. The Lumex even runs off some old school AA batteries, so you don't need to worry about finding a specific camera battery. Now it's probably never going to fully replace my DSLR, and I'm sure I'm still going to take lots of photos with my iPhone as well. Each piece of equipment has its own purposes. But an old Digicam is still a fun option to throw into the mix every once in a while. Now as for price, you can see the Lumex can be had online now for about 35 bucks. The model used by Jonathan in his video is the Canon PowerShot, which you can see is more expensive. But the cool thing about it is that it does have an optical viewfinder. And if you search around a little online, you'll find tons of different options with various features at different price points. Or you could always check out your local thrift or dollar store. If you find one or you've got one, let me know in the comments which model you've got. And also follow my channel for more tips and stories about photography video, content creation, and social media strategy. Till next time, we'll see you in the next video.